Hey Art Friends, Father's Day is coming up, so we thought it would be fun to celebrate by drawing a dad with a child on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes! Let's first draw our dad's nose in the middle of our paper, right about here. So I'm gonna draw a little curve. And then let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw one eye over here on the left and another circle over here on the right. There you go. One more. And then inside let's draw a smaller circle or oval for the highlight. And then let's color in the big circle but leave the little circle white. This part will fast forward so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your eyes. Now we're ready to draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw it right below the nose and I'm gonna draw kind of off to the side too. So I'm gonna draw a little curve coming up and then a cheek line on the corner. Ah, cute. All right, now we're ready to draw the shape of our dad's face. We're gonna start here on the left. I'm gonna come down like this and then I'm gonna draw coming across and then we're gonna draw it coming back up on the other side and see how I kind of drew it square. There you go. Now we could leave the face just like this or we could also add a beard. And you could add whatever details you want to so that your drawing looks like your dad. Or this could be someone that is like a father to you. Yeah, okay, let's add a beard. I'm gonna first draw a curve that comes up over, this is the mustache part, and down. <laughs> <laughs> And then over here on the left, I'm going to draw it coming across the cheek and then up the cheek. And the same thing over here. Come across and then up. <laughs> and then let's also draw the inside of the mustache. I'm going to draw another curve that comes up and over. And then right here, we could add a line that comes across. I'm not going to go all the way across. I'm going to come up just under the mouth and then back down and then over. It's a little tricky, but... You could just, <laughs> there you go, you did it. Okay, now let's draw the hair. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna draw curly hair. I'm gonna draw little bumps like this that come across the eyes and over to the other side. Oh, let's draw ears too. I'm gonna draw the letter C on the left and a backward C on the right. Now let's draw the top of our hair. We're gonna draw bumps going this way over the top We finished drawing our dad's head. Now, remember, you could change the hair, too. It doesn't have to be curly. You could draw it straight. You could also give your dad a hat, a baseball hat. Or glasses. Glasses. You could also draw your dad bald, like me. <laughs> but let's keep going. Let's draw our little kid that's on his shoulders next. I'm going to start right here, and let's draw the face. I'm going to draw a little nose right here above the hair. And then let's draw the eyes too. I'm gonna to draw the eyes a little smaller than the size of the dad's eyes. Draw little eyes over here on the right too. And then let's draw that small circle or oval for the highlight and then color in the eyes. Next, let's draw the mouth. I'm gonna do the same mouth I did for the dad, but maybe on the other side. <laughs> Next, let's draw the shape of his face or her face, we're gonna draw a curve that starts here. I'm gonna overlap behind the hair. So we're gonna connect to the hair and then let's do the same thing on this side, curve around and into the hair. You did it. Also, let's add ears. I'm gonna draw a little ear on the side and on the other side. Oh, let's give our kid a baseball hat. So right here, Let's draw the brim of the hat. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes over and then connects to the other side. And then let's draw another line that matches that first one. And then let's connect the top down to the bottom on each side. Oh, I'm kind of running out of room. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the top of the hat. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up, over, and then back down. 
Now mine could be a boy. You could change yours into a girl if you want to add some hair, maybe underneath oh, yeah. the hat, and then also give her some piggy tails. Yes. I'm going to draw a little curve that comes up over the eye, and then maybe some zigzags across like this, and then come over to the other side. Oh, I could have changed that into curly hair too. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> that's really cute. I'm going to draw piggy oh, little, tails. Little piggy tails. Cute. Oh, you could give her curly piggy tails too. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. And then do one on the other side too. Oh, that's really cute. Next, let's draw our child's arms. And I'm going to draw it sticking out to the side like this. Like they're really happy to be on dad's shoulders. I'm always happy when yeah. I'm... On dad's shoulders? Yeah. yeah, you're getting to be a little big to be on my shoulders. <laughs> but I used to always put you up there. Nice. And then let's draw a short line down on each side for the end of the sleeve and then connect it back into the hair. Okay, now let's draw the hands. Let's first draw the thumb. We we'll draw a little curve that comes out, around, and then start coming back in. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Let's do another finger. And I'm going to keep going until we have four fingers and then connect back into the sleeve. Let's do the same thing on this side. I'll draw the thumb and then four fingers. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next, let's draw our father's neck. I'm going to draw two lines down from the chin. And we can also draw a little V shape to connect the bottom of those lines. Oh, let's also draw a little collar right here too. I'm going to draw a diagonal line down on each side. And then we could draw a upside down V right here. And then let's connect the left side and also the right side. Okay, now let's draw our child's legs that are on dad's shoulders. So I'm going to start here and draw a line that comes down and also a line that comes down on this side. So these are going to be the legs. I kind of draw in my legs really big, but also we could add the shoes in here too. <laughs> now let's add the shoes. We're going to start right here and draw a big shoe that comes out to the side like this and then back in. Ooh, Those are big shoes. Shoe. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing on this side and then back in. <laughs> there you go. Yes. And then let's also draw the bottom of the shoe too. We're going to draw another curve inside like this. I'm going to start here on the outside and we'll curve back in. And then we're going to draw the other side of the leg. So I'm going to start here and come up like this. And then I'm going to bend into the chin and we'll do the same on the side. Come up and then bend into the chin. Yeah. There you go. And same thing on the other side. And let's draw a line for the shorts. We're going to draw a little curve right here across the knee and the same thing on this side. We did it. We finished drawing our kid. Let's also add the shoulders for our dad. I'll start here and we're going to draw a little corner that comes out here. I'm going to connect to the shoe and then imagine it coming down a little further. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll draw the shoulder coming down and connect to the shoe. Imagine it going behind the shoe and coming out the bottom. Oh, also, I'm going to draw a line down, add a little detail for the shirt, and add buttons for our dad's shirt. Hadley, we did it. We finished our drawing. Well, we're not completely done. We still need to color them. Yes, my favorite part. We're going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, 
we did it. We finished coloring our drawings and they turned out awesome. I love that you changed the colors. Yeah, I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, you could color any way you want. You could change the skin tone. You could also change the color of the hair. You could add more details so it looks more like your father. Or it could even be somebody that seems like a father to you. Like a grandpa. Yeah, or even an uncle. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye.